Hi kids! Today we will learn more on plants and its different parts. So let's start! Plants are one of the most important things on the planet Earth. Without plants, there would be no food to eat and no oxygen for animals to breathe. Plants have different parts where each part has different roles to play. All plants have two main basic parts, that is, the root and the shoot. The part of the plant that remains under the ground is known as the root. The part of the plant that remains above the ground is known as the shoot. The main function of shoot is to produce food for the plant by process of photosynthesis. And it carries out the process of reproduction too. The main functions of root are to anchor the plant in the soil and to absorb water and minerals from the soil and also stores food in some plants. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Now let's learn the function of roots in detail. Roots absorb water from the soil, which in turn provides the plants with nutrients and minerals. As we need food and water to live, same way, Plants need these minerals and nutrients to grow, strong and healthy. Minerals and nutrients travel up the roots to the stem and different parts of plants to provide nutrition to all parts of the plant. Roots anchor the plant, that is, root fix the plants into the soil. Roots also hold soil particles together that prevents the soil from being washed away with rain or storm. So roots are the support system of the plant. Some roots also store food in them like carrots, radish, and turnips are tap roots that we eat. Now let's see different types of roots there are mainly two kinds of roots, tap roots and fibrous roots. When a single thick main root grows below the stem, it is called tap root. Many thin roots, which are unequal in size, grow from this main root. Beans, carrots, mango, radish, rose, hibiscus, and turnips are the plants that have tap roots. Tap roots store food in them and we eat these roots. When a bunch of many thin and bushy roots grow below the stem, it is called fibrous root system. These thin and bushy roots are nearly equal in size. Grasses, maize, bamboo, coconut tree, onion, rice, and wheat are the plants that have fibrous roots. Now let's learn about the shoot of the plant. Part of the plant that grows above the ground is called shoot. Now let's see different parts of the shoot. Leaves, petioles, nodes, buds, flowers, fruits, and branches are all different parts of shoot and each part plays a different role. Stem is a central main part of the plant. It holds the plant upright. Leaves prepare food for the plant with a process of photosynthesis and leaves are also called the food factory of plants. Flowers they are the most beautiful part of the whole plant 
and are the reproductive part of the plant too. And we will learn more about flowers, its structure, and different parts in our next assignment. Fruits. Fruits store the food prepared by the plants and also enclose seeds within them. Different types of plants have different types of stems. Big trees have strong, very hard and woody stem, which is called a trunk. Shrubs. Shrubs have brown and thick stems, but not as thick as trees. Herbs have green and soft stems. Climber and creepers have very soft and green stems that can't keep the plant upright. Creepers and climbers need some support of an outside object to climb up or crawl along. Some stems are thick and juicy. For example, sugarcane. Sugarcane is a thick and juicy stem that people eat. Some stems remain underground and store food like ginger, potato, and onion. These are actually stems that we eat. So kids, today we learned different parts of plants and their functions. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!